Hi everyone. So today we're going to go over some strength and stability exercises to help you be a healthier runner. The first exercise is called the side plank circuit. And so what you're going to do, you're going to go on your side, elbow underneath the shoulder, both knees bent and stacked, bring your hips up towards the ceiling, straighten out the top leg, and then hold it up to the side. You hold this for about 30 seconds, and then after the 30 seconds, you come down and then switch sides and do 30 seconds on the other side. The next step, you go into that same position, but instead of holding, you bring the leg up and down, and you can do that 15 times. After 15 repetitions, you then come all the way back down, and then switch and do it on the other side. And last thing, feet stacked, hips up, you'll do a side plank with a clamshell, so you bring the knee up to the side and back down, and you do that 15 times on each side. You can perform about two to three sets of each of those, um, all three together is considered one set, so it would, you could take as much break as you need to in between each of the sets. After that, another exercise that you can do is a single leg squat. I do like to encourage my patients to do this with a chair um, when you're just learning how to do it well, because this does help to minimize how much our knees come forward and encourage our bottom coming back. So standing on one foot, single leg squat to the chair, and then stand all the way back up. Keep an eye on where your knee is to make sure that it does not dive inwards and that you're having nice, strong stability throughout the movement. This can be performed um, in two to three sets of 10 repetitions. From there, you can do the single leg stability circuit, which is standing on one foot and going through three different movement patterns. So you're going to do a curtsy lunge first, where you reach back, lunge down, stand back up. The next one is the hand to heel. So you take your opposite hand, squat down, reach down to the outside of the opposite ankle, and then stand back up. And then from there, you go into a single leg RDL where you just lean forward and then come back up. All three movement patterns are considered to be the circuit. So you then go from the end of the single leg RDL back into that curtsy lunge, and that would be your next round of the exercise. and you can do about two to three sets of 10 on both legs. Those are a few options for you to get yourself going with some strength uh, and stability to help you be a healthier runner.